Hello, beloved, and welcome to the Prophetic Vessel Show. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me. This will be your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest Lotto. I thank you so much for your time. Once again, thank you for joining me. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us tap in and find out why we are spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, all right? Things. 
There's a level of respect drawn from that. There's a level of consciousness that needs to be evoked in you within that regard. And that level of consciousness stems from who you are. Understanding who you are. I feel like you have a bin an ability here. There's an ability that was bestowed upon you, something that is in your hands. When you place your hands in anyone's reality, there is always progression or a better way, a better outcome. Whether this be your ideas, your advice, whether this be just your presence, your assistance, your help, right? This is the ability that God has bestowed upon you. And however way in the past it might have been taken advantage of by people who didn't deserve that energy from you, God is saying you not allowing that to taint your ability will always strengthen your ability. Just because you extend yourself in good and it is not received like that, that's not on you. You extended yourself in good. That's you. You straight. And however way it is received by the other, they should take accountability of that. So however way your energy was abused in the past, your assistance, your presence, your ability to give, grow things, impact people's lives in a way that you help them create a way, a better way or an actual better outcome. That's a gift. It's like I'm seeing people calling you up like, man, I gotta, I gotta call, I gotta, give me one moment, I gotta ask her, I gotta ask him first, just hold on. Yeah, so what you saying, do you think it's a, do you, think, do you think it's a good idea that I do this? Do you think it's a good idea that like, this is how I conduct this? How, what is your thought, what are your thoughts about it? It's like, that's the level of importance here that is upon your identity, and it's no joke. Give me the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles here. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. I just saw the star. Beloved, I feel like this is more than just an ability. It's a gift. It's like... It is uniquely, individually, upon your identity to be able to do this. And because of that, I feel like who you are, <laughs> you are someone important here. Someone that, even when people don't like you, they know to, to stay the fuck away. Someone that, even when people know that, it's sort of like people would rather not. You know, like, nah, like, nah. God is saying it's not just about the financial benefits of it. It's about the longevity. It's not just about anything that has to do with finances or influence or um, power. It has to do with longevity. This is an ability that can create longevity for you. You can literally make people. And I ain't talking about it from a place of ego. I'm talking about you can help someone, be someone. You, like... Give me the Six of Pentacles. Care about the Six of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. There's an energy here of this being an ongoing thing, this being 
an ability you've always carried. It's nothing new. It's not something that you've recently discovered about yourself. It's something that you've always possessed within you. It's, it's an ability that you've always carried. It's a gift. And God gives us certain abilities based on the state of our heart, the state of our mind and our spirit. God knows certain people got big hearts. So God puts them in certain positions. God knows certain people got genius minds. So God puts them in certain positions. You know what I'm saying? God knows that certain people's spirit is able to withstand a lot of things. So God enables certain things in those people's lives. You know, like, I feel like God specifically gave you something for you here. Be based on the archetype of who you actually are. Spiritually... This is something that cannot be taken away. It can only just be tainted. If you operated from ego or operated from a place of low vibrational nature, it would be tainted. But it being high vibrational, you being high vibrational, causes that very same ability, that very same gift that you have to be high vibrational as well. So what you can do, what you can offer, I'm talking big here. This is not something to be looked down on or something to take lightly just because you can do it so well. It's a gift. I ain't reading like this because it's easy. Ain't nobody do it like me. I'm gifted. That's the sort of energy here, beloved. I feel that this is gonna like catapult you, like it's gonna catapult you in your life. The more you keep nurturing this ability, the more you keep nurturing this gift by remaining high vibrational with it, it's going to take you places. Like real big places here. You'd be surprised how doors just start to open up for you. You'd be surprised how just you receive certain emails and phone calls that are linked to big opportunities that can catapult your life or the quality of your life to a different level. But that would be all God because God bestowed this upon you. It's like an anointing. Not everybody can make somebody. Instead, everybody's trying to kiss up on everybody's ass to get some from some. So God is saying that it is not by mistake that you have this ability. It's not by mistake that you have this gift. It is something that when something is bestowed upon you, it comes with value. It comes with value of your life. It's like a door of value that when you open it, it can lead you to much more than what it was when you began. It's like, oh, this, let me just talk to her, let me just talk to him for a moment and, and get their thoughts on it and get their advice on it. Then it becomes, hmm. I think I wanna literally just pay this person for advice now. Like, I think I just wanna just, I think I just need this person to just show me the way now. And then you are just being yourself, but how God is enabling your identity in your reality, it's like now you're becoming everyone's go-to for advice, go-to for ideas, go-to for this, for that. It's not your doing. You being the type of person that people seek that sort of validation from and it being in respect, I mean, beloved, that's just something to really be proud of. You have to be proud of yourself. 
You have to be proud of who you are and you have to stand in the energy of being grateful. Because this door of value is something that can take you anywhere. So you will never be broke. You can never be broke with an ability like this. You can never be broke with a gift like this. You can make someone and that person you make ends up taking over a certain industry because of what you've done. Your hand in their life, that is not nothing. That is power, like. So, God is saying, think back to how you acquired this wisdom. Think back to how you acquired this knowledge. Think back to how you acquired this information of life. It must have been a painful journey sometimes. It must have been a tiring journey at times. It must have been a journey of true isolation or going through real life experiences to attain that. That's rank, spiritual rank. People don't just ask, just. They know who they're asking. They know who's behind that voice. Yeah, I, I, I feel, okay, thank you. I'm gonna do just that, I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna do just that? Man, beloved, you are powerful. And it is not because of, oh, I have power over people. Nah, I can help. I can heal. I can transform. Clarify the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. We have the devil reversed. There's an energy here of, it's like the devil being reversed. It's like tr trust that was broken. So God is saying at times in the past, when you would extend yourself in this manner, using your ability, using your gift, you would oftentimes get the devil energy from people because people want to suck you dry, use you, manipulate you, abuse you, take advantage of you, all sorts of things for the power that is you, of you, in you, your identity, because of your good heart. But you not allowing that to taint your ability, your gift. It's like you allow, you have to allow people to be who they are. Like. I can sit and preach about God every day, but there's still a non-believer out there. That doesn't make me any less anointed. It just means there's just a non-believer out there. So anyone that has taken advantage of what you've done for them, anyone that has abused what you've done for them, anyone that has negatively taken from you, best believe that that's all they got now. You heard me? That's all they got now. They can milk that little they got till the death of them, but that's all they got now. So it ain't on you. It never been on you. You just play your role as a vessel. I'm just a vessel. God is using me. You need to stand in that same power. Do not allow yourself to be burdened by this ability. Do not allow yourself to be burdened by this gift. Allow it to catapult you and take you there so that you can say you self-made with it. Ain't nobody taught me this. I, I am this. I never been taught not a damn day how to read. I taught myself with God. That's why I'm the greatest. And that's why no one can take my spot. There ain't no spot to take. I created one. 
you a power, beloved. You are one powerful ass beast. I. <laughs> All right. We have the Five of Cups here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Hangman Reverse. We have the Four of Cups. So, going back to the people that negatively took from your ability, abused your ability, took advantage of your ability, that being the only thing that they can milk and have now, you left them with that. That's how much resources, you are like a re walking resource. Like, man, I can give you the swag. You have any idea the archives, the ideas, the creativity, the fuel, the passion, the love? It's like they can have it. Whoever they, whoever they thought they, they were to you and what they were trying to do, they, like, yo, have it. That's the only thing you will ever have in your life with that. But me, I'm a walking resource. It will never end. I will never run out. Because I am who I am. Because you are who you are. You can never run out. It can never be that. So don't ever forget. Don't like think entrepreneurship wise. Utilize the gift. Utilize the ability. Utilize it in a manner that will camp out the quality of your life to a different level. Utilize it in a manner that will enable you to stand much more in your power than you stand now because of it. It's not just a gift. It's like a mission. It's like, man, I'm really talented at this. I'm really blessed with this. I'm really gifted. Almost godlike. And what's a king to a god? What's a queen to a god? I can barely see your ass there, you little queen, you little king. Because I'm a godlike beast with it. We have the Ace of Swords. Your mind. Your mind. Ain't nobody think like you. Ain't nobody have the same heart as you. Ain't nobody think the way you do. Nobody can interpret things the way you do. Nobody can understand with the consciousness that you embody. That's what makes you uniquely you. That's what makes you a powerful individual in a world full of sheep. People that be sleeping, thinking that they woke. You gotta be proud of yourself for being different. You gotta be proud of yourself for not being what everybody wanted you to be. And you gotta be proud of yourself that this is actually who you are. It ain't no facade, it ain't no gimmick. I'm actually a prophet. Oh! One more, clarify the nine of wands. Gotta stand one more for the Ace of Swords, the mind card. Your mind is going to take you places. Let's see. Yeah, we have the Will of Fortune. Like, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The more you decide to nurture this, beloved, it's going to take you places. Don't look down on it. It's not just you giving advice or being good at seeing the vision or being a visionary it's more than just that it's the fact that you can provide a certain idea that can catapult the next person to a position in their life that they've never been in you can speak life into people that have been dead so long on the inside you can evoke enable things in people that they've never felt before that is nothing small that is an anointing that is nothing small that is a gift and that is nothing small that is a god and allow it to grow with time by you staying in the energy of being good with it. No matter who's bad to you. I can only deliver the message, but what you do with it is on you, right? It don't take away from who I am. It just makes you you. 
however you take it, whatever you do with it. So whatever you give, beloved, enable people to just take it for what it is and don't feel the need to be in charge of the ability or the gift. Allow it to be. You, are, you can't control this. And be called to end your message here. This was your message from God. The big G-O-D. The biggest logo. L-O-R-D-O. Logo. Okay. Stay prayed up. In these times of envy and jealousy, don't ever slip up on a prayer. Because you're going to slip up on the devil. All right? If you're keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show, beloved. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.